Okay, so I'm gonna try to go over them quickly. Um, go to wait, shop. There are four mini games in the main lobby. There are challenges you have to do to get the cave. Um, these like the last questions are in the mystery cave, which are if you go from spawn left, then left again. Then there is um, like this water column. I'll go up if it allows me. Um, so you go into the cave. Then there are paintings. Every painting um, is a different challenge. Um, this one is easiest. You just have to like do the wave emote at spawn. You can do that immediately if you join. Um, this one I will show right away. Yeah, why not? Um, you first need to get like this festive popper thingy. Um, and you get that at the bottom of the of the mountain in this big cave with this guy um, you will need like the party popper pizza box birthday firework um, and gifting box and I think also disco ball these are the ones you really need to buy to get all the challenges um, but you get this one I've got the gold you obviously need gold um, to buy these things. You just play the um, mini games. I recommend Sand of Time um, because that's the easiest to make money at. And Meltdown is quite easy as well. Or at least easy to make money at. The, those are also the diff most difficult game modes to complete. Um, there was also like a, um, a duck. Um, painting. I'll go up again to show you. I'm not gonna like edit this video at all because I'm too lazy for that. Um, so back into the cave. I hope you guys can hear me well enough. Um, this duck. Um, I'll show where you can find that one you go with elytra all the way to the other side and there is this duck um, and like this big rock there is this drainage underneath it you go on this thing and you go down and I think you just complete this thing. And just go through it. It's quite an easy parkour. Most of the challenges are quite easy because obviously it's bedrock, everything needs to be easy. Because young children, yeah. Um, so. I catch up with this guy. Ah. Okay. I think you just complete it and then you have it, I believe. We um where am I? Okay. Something important for the challenges, like these top ten. Um, they all have like an animal at them. Um, you will need to go over here. If you go from spawn, it's two times left. I'll go to spawn to just show you. So this is where you spawn. Oh, it's not two times left, but oh well. So you go over here. You go to Sand of Time, and then you go left. 
and then there is like these two stores you can ignore the right one just by all the heads that you would see here um like those that's all those um these are just some fun heads you can get like chicken on your head or this but you can also um you can always only enable one of the heads so let's say i select a birthday cake a um, birthday gift i have a birthday gift i select this one i have that one um then i'll just go over the challenges this one is quite easy you turn on the red beanie which you would buy there um then you go to ace race Go on, yes. Um, you just follow the course until you get to like a dinosaur dragon kind of thing, which is right there. And you go around this red bed. You go into this corner, you look that direction, and you just walk backwards the whole time for like a minute or something, or two minutes, and you will finish the quest. It will only tell you you finish the quest when you reach the end of the um, of the course. But there are a few more. Um, I ripped that guy few more challenges you can complete in Ace Race. One of them is um, you go to this pink castle. You go over here, you do the clapping emoji, and then you just follow the, the path. I recommend going this way. It's all quite easy. Then on the top of the staircase, I believe there is the frog. Yes, the frog. Um, there you can pet, talk. Um, you can pet the frog, talk to the frog, or kiss the frog. Kissing will make him back to a prince, and that will um give you like on the top here behind chat now. There is like. 7 out of 7 for me, but there would be something else um, for you guys, where you have like, I believe, um, 7 exclamation marks. Um, this is the last exclamation mark. It's kind of the last challenge, but you can just do it in the beginning already. Then you just go down again. And you finish the race. I believe finishing the race is also a quest, so that's easy. I'm quickly gonna go to the end. Don't die, please. Damn it. Then you would have finished like two quests already. And then this, um, I don't know what it is, Ocelot. It's 10, um, 100 speed boost, which are the orange thingies over here. Um, you turn on the orange beanie, as you can see. And you just like go like this for like a minute. And you will have it as well. Because you need to go over a hundred of those, you can also count it, but just do it for a minute and you'll have it probably. And you can just go back here and you would, like if you reach the hundred, you can go back here. And if you click on it, you can also see how many times you've gone over them. Um, same with the lounge pads with the red beanie. Um, then 
the yak or something. Um, this one is a little bit more difficult in my opinion. Um, so, you turn on the yak, then you go to Meltdown. Meltdown is at first an easy game mode, but it gets quite a bit harder um, afterwards. Also, there are these four um, challenges, like Meltdown, you have to survive until the third room. After the third room, it gets a lot more difficult. Um, Grid Runner, um, it's just complete the minigame of Grid Runner. Which is over here. Really easy. Um, Sand of Time. This is a bit more difficult in my opinion. Um, but I'll show you that in a bit. And Ace Race it just finished the course. So you would have already done this one as well. To join the minigame you have to click the, the controller. Um, there is also... Um, a quest to get on top of the helipad. Um, I'll try to figure out how to get there again. But I'll do it afterwards. You get a bow, which will... Like, you shoot arrows of course, and it will freeze enemies. So you can hit them. Because you cannot just hit the zombies like this. Only when they are frozen. I'll show it over here. Like this. You shoot them and you hit them. You shoot them. You hit them. And it will also go through like multiple mobs as well. I'll show it in a bit. Um, this one is quite easy to survive. Um, you can also get like the money up here. It's not that difficult. Oh, I'm, never mind, I'm almost dead. That's also something to watch out for. Like, when you take fall damage, you're not gonna heal or anything. So, fall damage has killed me multiple times already. You get all your health back when you wish, like go to the next um, place. That's big plus. You can also get like the money up here. If you don't want to kill that many mobs, you can just go here or like any of these places because mobs don't really come here. Over here they will come because here is a spawner. Um, but uh, like in one of the coming rooms, there are places where you can like sit and kill them. Like here, this is also a nice spot to sit at. But they can come out of your back, like, like in your back. And as you can see on the like over here, on the top left. Um, you get money doing this as well, so you can buy like the, the next beanie and the next item you need. Um, and the items are quite cheap. But every bit of money helps of course. This is the first place where it's like tricky-ish to survive, because spiders and they can... They have annoying hitboxes. And they're fast. I suggest just staying here at like the exit. Come on, stupid hitbox. Maybe also good to know, um, on the top um, you see like 
a timer. The green dot with like the seconds next to it. At 30 seconds, um, the gates will open. And then you have to try to get out as fast as possible because if you stay here too long, you will die. I think if I stay here a little bit, it will start. Yeah, lava is coming up and stuff. Just go to the next room. I should just going up this ladder like this guy is doing as well. And like try to stay on top of these um, parts. Because the spiders cannot crawl up here. And like this guy is also doing, you can shoot them. Although, watch out for like the skeletons because they can still hit you. The exit is also over here. But I don't suggest staying here because you will get ganged up on by the mobs quite fast. Ish. But sometimes in this level there's like a moment where there are no mobs like now. And it's eh. This, this is a special level in my opinion. And then this level I should just just continuously running around. Like I don't know if you've ever played zombies in a Call of Duty. Like just run. There are not too many mobs here. There's also like a little coin pocket there. I don't think the blazes actually fire. Yeah, they don't do shit. Ooh. You can also stand... Wait, you cannot stand on them? I thought you could. I thought you could stand on those things. Don't touch me. Okay, four more seconds. Three, two, one. Now, this level is difficult. Like, really difficult. If you don't um, go to the spot, I tell you. Because Vindicators and they have um, Iron Axes, so they do a shit ton of damage. Um, I suggest just staying in this place because you have like this um, fence to protect you against incoming arrows and like the Vindicators have to go up the stairs and you can easily shoot them if you don't miss. I suggest not going for like the money unless you can do like this. Just try to survive. You can also jump on here. Because this is the exit anyway. Oh, you can stand on it. Do it. Although I don't really recommend going here. Because then they might start ganging up here. Um, and when you want to exit, you might get killed. And this room is also quite easy. Um, although it also has Vindicators, you just go all the way to the back here. Um, you go up here, on the crates, on this thing. And like this is a safe space all the time. Nothing really to worry about. What is this? Oh, cool. I kind of want to jump down, but not going to do that. Just stay here until it's like 40 more seconds and then you go to there. I think my teammate has died. RIP. Oh well. You can also stand over here. 
and just shoot constantly because they will not be able to kill you unless you go too close to the edge like that and then they can hit you now you just go like this careful for the lava and you finished it and you get some money um i don't know if there's anything here no there's nothing really here you just go down again there was a way to get up here um let me think How did I do that? Hold on. Did I go like this? No. Hmm. How can I forget this? I think maybe through here. Yeah, 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 I remember. Okay, so you go up this stair over here. And you do this simple parkour. Here, go here, some money. God damn it. I said it's a simple parkour. Oh, oh well. You go here, you go here, you go on top of that. You go over here, you go here. Although I kind of forgot what I had to do in the end here. Maybe I'll re remember. It's like one of the um, cave challenges to go up here. It's not that difficult to get here. And then you do like an emote or something I don't remember. Um, do I? Was it with an item? Um, no, I don't think so. Oh well, I'll I'll show it when I go back to the cave. Um, so that is the yak challenge as well. You have to kill as many and mobs in there as well um, as possible. Um, then that's also this challenge done to survive the third room. Then what else is there? Um, oh yeah, don't forget to put on the yak before, like, killing the mobs. There's also, yes, this one, the cyan coyote, coyote or something. Um, you have to collect the uh, coin piles, um, either in this game mode or the sand of time. I'll also show you how to do sand of time. Sand of time is a bit tricky if we don't know how to do it, in my opinion. We have to try to stay on the right as much as possible. You also join it by just clicking the um, control. This is the exit, by the way. You just go to the right, get this one, get this one. Go over here, get this one. The weird yellow blocks or extra time which are really important to get um just watch the path i take and just copy it you need the keys to open the chests um but the keys are not always close to the chests as you will see soon and um, you go up here over there Click that one, 
to go back, and go down here, go up here, and get that one, try to make that jump, I made it, get this coin, get this money, get the key, damn it. Um, this extra 10 seconds, then you go um, over here, you step on this pressure plate, you go back out directly to the right, and you go up, money, time, and you go back. <laughs> then you go into this cave, directly on your right is another time, money, money. Um, I suggest ignoring most mobs. Money. Time. Damn it. Um, you, there is like some like margin to lose time, but try to do it as efficient as possible. Then you can get a lot of money from this game mode. I've only been here like a minute or something and I already have 300. You get the key. I have two keys now. You go down here, you press the button. The money, you get time. You get this time. You get this time. You go out. And you go down here. Get this money this time. Damn it. The servers are quite laggy by the way. These are the kind of mobs you have to kill if they like bump you out of your way. Not another one, stupid. There isn't even a spawner here, what the fuck? Um you use the gold key, you click this, you click that. You get back out. And then you go back to this space. You go up here. You get that one. You go directly to the right. Then to the left. You get this time. Go up there, up there. Get the gold coin. I'm gold key. Then you go there, onto the logs, damn it. Onto the logs, you go up there to the left, you get that one, you get these two, you get that money, you open the chest, if you fall down here, you get coin and bang, then you go to the right. You get this one, you go to the left, no, not yet, to the right first, get the time, to the left, you get this money and the key, then left again, you get better pants than time, you go back out, go Right to the front, I guess. Get money, get time. And you jump on the log and over. Get time. Get time. Also, you can do this the better. Um, or at least you get more money, I guess. I could technically already go out of the um, out of the sand of time game mode, but I want to show the whole um, course. You can take like the more most efficient path. Get this one. Like we got that key quite a bit ago, 
and could only use it this time. And I'm already at like a thousand money. This is, in my opinion, the fastest way to get all the money for all the beanies and all the items you will need to get. Let's just continue to get out of it. This is also like 20 easy seconds to take. And you go back up. You get this one. I left that one earlier, but take it now. Mm. When you go get out of here, you want like two minutes left. And then you get that one. There's a money pouch there. There's a money pouch there. Stupid zombies. You go to the left. You go a bit down. You get... Damn it. You get that one. You go back up. You go over. And go to the front. Stupid skeleton. Just... Um... Get the time. money only only if the doors open take this money otherwise it's a waste of time ignore ignore that button just take the time and go you go to the left there's a bit of armor time money you get that one sometimes you can use skeletons to kind of push you forward a bit more which is nice Get the key. Careful to not fall into the lava. What? Fucking hell. God damn it. Oh well. Um, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing then. Um, so, if you have survived two minutes, you can go back in here. I can show you the next parts, I guess. So, I will show the other parts of the course. So, I got that key basically, but I'm not going for it again. Um, because I don't need the money right now. But I suggest you do it. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is a difficult parkour. Um, take your time for this if you need it. Take your time. Get the key. Then you can go on top of here to save some time. And over here, you can get quite a lot of extra time, like a whole extra minute, I believe. And that's three already. Four. Five. And 60 seconds. You you would use the key that I got there to open that chest. And I'm not doing that right now. But I suggest you would. And this key is like the best key, I guess, in the whole dungeon. You go over here, you go down. You get this extra time. You go down here, from to the right, I mean. You go like this. You get on top of that. You go like this. You get this extra time. Go down, jump. Yes, get the money. There is like parkour to get that one, but it's a waste of time in my opinion. It's way too difficult. Not how to get the. Get that chest. And you can also 
like do a parkour to get that one but it's not that worth it um i believe there's also yes another chest over there but you would get that key somewhere else as well i think it's the key that i skipped or something i don't know it's not worth that much so just go up and this is the way out um another thing you can do over here is if you go to the left i believe there are a lot of these um what are they called statues i guess the heads and most i mean all of them have gold eyes but this one over here has diamond eyes and that's the one you want um you use like an item here i don't remember which one i think this one you do this i think and you get another cave um then what's the next quest okay the lime llama that one is quite expensive to do i suggest doing that one like somewhere last we have like a lot of money um i'll show you how to do that one as well uh, i can already show the cave again it's already o over half an hour oh my god damn people stupid lag to the left, left again. I'm not going into the, that cave yet. I go to the big cave. So you had to buy like this one, the party popper, the disco ball, gifting box. You need ten gifting boxes, so be wary. That's like a thousand coins. Um, the birthday fireworks and box of pizza as well, I believe. Um, for the birthday fireworks, I'll buy, I'll buy everything a few times. You can show everything. Um, the gifting boxes, disco ball buy more gifting boxes um for so for the the lime llama i suggest doing it last or if you have like enough money you put on the lime llama head and you give like 10 of these gifting bags to people but you can only give one of them to each person unless they open the gift quite soon he opens it i can gift another he opens it i can gift another but you need to do that 10 times or something. Um, on to the, like the cave challenges. You go up, you go into the cave. <coughs> okay, so yeah, I was white with the pot popper with the head with the diamond eyes. Um, with the duck, I believe you just have to finish it. Um, okay, so the helipad in Meltdown, where I did like the parkour, you have to eat a cake there. It's not a pot popper, you have to eat a cake there. Um, this one is quite close and easy as well. This one you already did, it's in the pink castle with the frog, you kiss, you turn into the prince. You did that already. But this one is quite easy as well that one you already did i think just do the wave emoji at the spawn you go up here 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 or not you can go around just go all the way to the top 
you can also get some money over here which is nice every bit of money helps you go all the way to the top as high as you can go and you set up a firework <coughs> boom I think it would be cool if you could get like an elytra up there as well. Or we'll take the elytra and jump over there, but hey, just seems cool. So then for like the disco ball, I'll show it again. Over here, you need to find like a zombie with shiny eyes, which you can find in Grid Runners. I bet there are other people there as well, maybe? No, they're just doing parkour? Okay, cool. You can either go this way or do the parkour, but the parkour is quite difficult in my opinion. Whichever you want to do. I think if you go all the way here, next to the paintings, like the painting minigame, go all the way to the top. I believe it's here? Yes. There is the guy with the shiny eyes. Mm. Should go up and to the disco ball, and you would get the another one of the on top of the cave challenges. Um, this is also um a challenge. Where is it? The gecko? Yes, the green gecko. You need to do 200 blocks in the painting. It's, I mean, it's easy. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Not the, the all the 200, but I'll just show how to do this mini game, I guess. Mm. Although it says it already, but there is another one as well. So you either turn on the gecko. Um, in your cosmetic chest. Um, there are multiple challenges here. The gecko, the... What is it? Blue axolotl. And there is another one, I believe. Is it this one? No. Wait, what's this one over here? Oh yeah. I can show the parrot as well in a bit. Um... Okay, yeah, bake the cake, that's the purple one. Um, the sand of time is also, it's, it's, I've already gone through sand of time, but you would turn on the blue bed and get like a hundred of the time sand thingies. Um, so yeah, the blue axolotl. And my name is Ashley. no, shut up. So the blue axolotl, the green gecko, and the purple panda. And yeah, just finishing it. I'll show the blue axolotl because the other ones are is just play the game a few times and you'll get it. But make sure to turn on like the heads. Waiting. These guys are going for the painting. Oh, multiple. Okay. And he is going for the. Which one is it again? Bake the cake. Okay. It's nice to, like, keep it in mind. If, like, you go for the baking cake and you see there are a few that want to do the painting, just let them do all the painting and. That way they get their chance fast as well. And they might let you bake most of the cake. If you're lucky. Come on, join already. Ok, 
here. Another page to pick. I'm picking the axolotl right now, so I can show you guys where to find the axolotl. Because it says like find a lost pearl hidden in a pool of water. You would expect it to be in like a river or in a um, pond or something. But it's actually in one of the swimming pools in the end. Come on. Started already. Oh wait, my my cape is not showing. What the fuck? It's not even loaded. What the hell? Oh well. Doesn't really matter. We can just start already. God damn it! I'm gonna drink something. Don't forget to drink. Ooh, ready. Never mind. I'm not drinking. Forget to drink, guys. So, I suggest shifting all the way in the back, and at the end you like stop shifting and you jump forward, which I didn't really do because I was too late with explaining and stuff. Um, this one is easy. You just defeat the monsters until the timer is finished, or you wait here and let the others spin kill the monsters. But I suggest just killing them yourself, because you get money from it. And I'm gonna drink something. Oh, what the? That was one of the wind thingies, I've never seen it before. I don't really need the money, so I'll let them do it. <laughs> okay. So if you pick the green gecko, you wanna focus on the painting that most are ignoring. Um, I would go for the white and go for black most of the time because like this one with the earth, you get quite a lot of paint on. Um, but as you can see, they are all most of them were ignoring that one, so pick yellow. Finish what the others are forgetting. Pick green. Blue. Finish it. There we go. Money! And on to the next. And this guy wants to bake the cake. Um, so, for baking a cake, I suggest doing both sugar cane. Um, which you just buy quick and do that. And milk. Because you can w really spend that shit and get all the ingredients in there you want they are forgetting the eggs god damn it the eggs are quite easy as well also i found a bug in here which i will show in a bit we've been making tricks okay so once the timer is out, everything will be reset and all the items and on the floor and shit will be removed, but you can just get buckets. Like, what? And the best part... Oh, okay, by the way. Over here is the pearl for the axolotl, if you pick the blue axolotl. But if you click it, your inventory will get cleared. But if you still had the buckets, you can get them out of the game by going all the way over here. Right before this, you throw them all out, and then you can get them over here again. Which is nice, in my opinion. Um, then, that's everything for crit runners. Did I forget anything? I've shown how to do the gift boxes. 
Um, let's just collect coins. The blue bits. So enough time. Let's just collect the time. Um. Oh yeah, the pellets. So the pellets. We wanna go back to Ace Race. I totally forgot about that one. Hmm. How many times did you have to get the white I think 25 times. Let me check again. The leg allows me to. Yeah, 25 times. That's easy. You just go to one of the Elytra spots. I usually take this route because it feels the fastest. Boing, boing. Go up there. Ignore the jump pad, the boost pad. And do what this guy is also doing. Just look down and keep pressing space. And eventually you'll reach 25, but you won't know unless you count. Um, and I think if you literally, like, give the game, you would get it as well. Because it's the same as doing this and going back. But if that doesn't work, just do it again and finish course. Or just do it and finish course, whatever. Um, did I forget any of them? Crit runners, let's just finish crit runners. Spend enough time. Survive for two minutes, so you get like the, the time thingies and try to survive for two minutes. It's easy. Um, meltdown. I've shown that. Ace race, just finish it and you get the kiss the crowd. Um, let me go back to the cave. And see if I done everything there. Quite a lot of work to get the cape, but I think it's worth it. Quite a cool cape. Hello, lag. Hello. Thank you. Hearing all this talking, it's getting my throat dry. Up there. I'm gonna get on my lighter. I wanna jump on off the top. Um so wave at the spawn. I'll show that one in a sec as well. Um that one we did. We did that one, we did that one. We sort of did that one, like we went to the um, meltdown, to the helipad, you eat the cake there. And then you do the, on top of the mountain thingy, and uh, fuck, we did everything. Okay, awesome, I'm gonna jump on top the mountain just for fun, and go to the spawn. Or well, where to wave at least. If you don't know already. If you do know, just you can do everything on your own now. If you have any questions, just hit me up on Discord. I will respond quite fast. Fuck! There goes my Elytra. I want it back. I'm wasting time now, but hey. It's for fun. Also, there is a bug with the Elytras. Um, it will give you the Elytra connected to the cape of the pr person um, that got the Elytra of that place before you, if that makes sense. It's bugged out. Oh well. Also, it's cute to right click the thingies. Here we go!
So over there you do the wave. Like you do the waving and you get the wave thingy of the So yeah. That's everything. Dang stupid Steve skin. Ugly. Hold on. It's one beautiful man. Okay, so that's everything. Yeah, enjoy. <laughs>